remember this? This is the one that didn't work. Um, I couldn't, it's vinyl uh, on top of vinyl and um, I had to take the video down because I couldn't get this to work by sticking this onto this. I used hot glue gun, fabric glue and leather glue and when you put your feet on the size lifted up around the circle so I've got gaffer tape on it in a minute but I don't want to waste what's on the inside so this time I'm going to use all that to sew that and I'm going to make one out of fabric. Uh, so this is a pattern which you can download from the site called the Sorry Girls uh, S-O-R-R-Y Sorry so once you've got your pattern you need to do 10 I have done 5 of one and 5 of the other and what you do then is put two together and the place to make sure that you've got it completely level is on the corner is on the shoulders of there and there not the ends this is a bit where you want dead straight from there to there so clip clip there make sure it's dead level clip there and then sew from one end from the very top all the way down that side and then stop abruptly two inches from the end on each one. So once you've clipped your shoulders from there to there making sure that they're dead there together start from one end quarter of an inch seam when you get to the shoulder pivot and continue to the next shoulder pivot round and then stop about two inches from the end forget to reverse secure your stitches and then once you've done that this is what you should have on your first one that's the one where you don't go to the bottom leaves the hole and this will end up being the top of the poof and this will end up being the bottom of your poof Continue round whichever fabric you've chosen to do, either alternate or all plain or all the same colour until you've got all ten together. So I've sewed them all together and I've done two lots of five. And if you're using um, different patterns, um, then make sure that you are they are going to join up in the right pattern. As I went along, I opened the top is where we first started sewing and we sew right from the very edge and then I pressed all the seams open just to make life a little bit easier so it's not so big at the top as you add more as you go along so once then you've added uh, five of each uh, then put them together put as many clips as can. it's a little bit awkward because of the shape uh, but don't worry if you can't get all the way start all the way from the very end if it's too thick because 
that it will be taken care of as we go along when we're pulling it together. shoulder, stop, and then pivot round, you can make sure it's all away from underneath and it's straight, to the shoulders stop and then pivot round and then the bottom end is the one where you leave the two inches Secure the uh, all the two inch ends to make sure that when you're putting any stuff in, nothing rips. So then all we have to so continue to do the other side. There's two sides to sew. I was getting ahead of myself. Again, don't panic if you can't get it all completely in. Try your best to get as close as you can. that's all sides and now we'll do that bit again looking out the way lift you up slightly and we'll pull it all the way through and this is why you leave a hole A you've got to get it through and B you've got to stuff it so the other one I had that was that I made that was bigger so this just looks a bit better that's not too bad, but we're going to be addressing that. Don't worry if there is a hole, which there is, but uh, we'll be addressing that as we go along. That's it. There isn't anything you can do about it. So, what we need to do now is the next bit of securing the bottom hole. So, I've opened, this is the inside on the bottom. I've opened it up as far as I can and spread it all out, made sure it's got no cotton or anything in there, cut all the threads, made a circle, and I've done the canvas one, the plain one, and I've put some fabric glue, and then I'm just going to put that over the circle. I've put quite a lot on. I'm going to get... I'm going to put a circle on the other side as well, but this is to stop the beads from coming out of that little hole. So that's lifted that one done, but that needs to dry, so I'll probably leave it half an hour for that to make sure that that attaches itself as best as possible. So I'll look on the outside, I've put quite a lot of glue on, no it's not coming through, so that's fine. 
next thing to do is to put the circle around there or well, I might leave it actually till it's got beads and it's stretched out a bit so this is the bit where we get the other one ready to take all the bits out as you can see it come up really easy because it didn't attach properly and then I need two pair of hands to do this section there you go, so I need to get everything out of there and put into the other one. I should put some, I should put this bit all at the bottom first. And if you've got any old clothes, it depends how heavy you want it. You can always put the old clothes um, at the bottom. You can pop the bottom out first for some padding, some of the padding. It depends how many beads you've got. I didn't have enough for this top one because I've been losing them. I've probably got less. But I've got lots of padding so I need help. As you can see, trying to get it from here into there. And we used, cut out a corner of a box and held it there and pulled them in we still made a mess but I've used more stuffing to pack the shoulders out um, so we obviously I've got to get the uber out now and uber them up and then we need to finish the top so what I've done is I've cut the circle out of the um, canvas because canvas doesn't fray and I've used the, hat, the top of the hat box uh, to fit over the hole and then to see whether I like it. What I'm going to do is put some spray put some spray on the back to put it inside the box and then lay it over the top <coughs> get it level push down and then that will hold it hopefully take out all the bubbles but hopefully hold it long enough uh, for me to sew it so that'll be the next stage I've got to clean up first though well, that's really tacky this is good stuff anybody in the UK in Wilco's let's create multi-purpose multi multi spray that's really tacky that's good I like that one first time I've used it that lowered it in place long enough let's get cleaned up and I am done that's the bottom and I've just put one row of stitching all the way around it's got the other circle the other side uh, that's been stuck on the inside and then this one uh, and then that's the top the one I put my feet on I put two rows of stitches as you can see all the way around just a long stitch I'm um, not the most the best um, uh, hand stitcher in the world but I'll put two to give it extra strength uh, so and um, canvas doesn't fray so I'm okay and it's been stuck down by spray glue so I'm hoping that's done so there you go we'll put it on the floor so you can have a look in all its glory there you go and this time it looks a bit better than the last one so there you go all done finally out of fabric and hopefully now this is secure and it'll work so I did take the other video off the one in vinyl because that didn't work uh, if you are thinking of vinyl perhaps there's some way that you can stitch it but it would, would have been too thick for me to do it does need stitching I think this style um, it's very easy from start to finish it's only took me a couple of three hours and um, there you go I'm done so I hope you have a go uh, the pattern is from the sorry girls it's their site thank you to them for get letting it go for free to everybody and um, I'm happy with this result and uh, I hope you all have a go thank you bye bye